boy have we got a lot of stuff to try today. <laughs> we have 10 things to try today. I think every single one of these things is something that we have never tried before. We'll be starting today with Bird's Original Homemade Taste Trifle Kit. Probably didn't need to read the whole subline. <laughs> Probably not. This is something that our friend Sean and Caroline sent us. We made it and now we're gonna try it. So it has four layers, like a lady finger like biscuit one, a chocolate custard, a chocolate whipped cream, and then a regular whipped cream. Okay. And then sprinkles on sprinkles, top. Sprinkles, so it's so, technically five trifle, if you really trifle. want to go there. It's more like Quintful. Quintful. A quintful kit. <laughs> Is that what we, where you're going? Yeah, but I couldn't think of it. I was only thinking of quad. <laughs> oh, I like that the uh, little biscuit pieces got a little smushy. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was really good. I imagine that it was going to be like the equivalent of like a jello pudding here, but it's way better. There's a lot more happening. You actually had to cook it. You do sometimes with jello. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Even those sprinkles are nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is uh, quite tasty. They also sent us the birds, um, like little custard, custard pods. pods. Which were good too. Yeah, so I guess we gotta try some more birds things now. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, let's try. You go for that, I'm right. not trying that. I'll try it by myself. I actually opened our bag of stuff that we were going to try today and was shocked that a whole package of caramel logs survived without me eating them before we filmed the video. Caramel logs, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just my American way of saying it wrong. We have all had all kinds of Tunnix things. I have loved every single one of them. I've liked them. I think you like them more. And this one you will definitely like more because I'm not going to even try it. Yeah, I just love the like the regular Tonics bars, and I love the tea cakes. tea cakes. Yeah, those are probably my two favorites, but I haven't met a Tonics product I did not enjoy. And Jeremy doesn't like coconut, so I'll be sampling this one on my own. I actually only recently learned about these. Um, some of you guys commented and said that we should try them, and I said, there's another Tonics product I haven't had. I've got to try it. <laughs> So I imagine it's pretty much like the same, but it's just got like toasted coconut surrounding it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. The toasted coconut is like just perfectly toasted, just like the right amount. Just nice dusting of it around the, the bars. Pretty much standard, like a tonics. It's it's really nice. I don't think I like it better than just the regular milk chocolate tonics bar, but it's nice. It's like a nice way to mix it up for a minute. You won't be trying it? No. You don't even want to sample the inside? Oh, no. Well, it's really good. <laughs> I'll stick to the other tonics things. Okay. They are right. Crunchy biscuit, munchy caramel, and roasted coconut. Good thing I have seven more of those to eat. <laughs> a toffee crisp. Toffee crisp. It looks like a Reese's package. It does, now that you mention it. Yeah, that's definitely some Reese's colors. Um, I know some of you, I, I don't, I don't remember, I, I don't think a ton of you guys, but we have gotten some comments suggesting for us to try that. It is not something that I have ever seen before. We definitely don't get them, have them here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Kind of looks like a, like a rocky road. Oh, it's different. It's got like Rice Krispies in it or something. Tastes like a hundred grand. Kind of. Yeah. The toffee is like a little chewier because I feel like that is just like a more melty caramel, but it's pretty similar to a hundred grand. But with like a toffee flavor to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. That's mm -hmm. good. Whenever we get these, like sometimes we get like just one of them. Sometimes we get a pack of them, but this time we have the whole pack so we can see more about it. 23% toffee, 9% cereal. Crisp cereal <laughs> filled with milk chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, so Nestle, their UK base is in York. All right, I'm gonna pick this one, another Nestle product. Nestle Milky Bar. I think this is just your 
like standard white chocolate bar, if I recall. That's what it looks like. I feel like we've seen them in the store. Mm -hmm. Those you can find here sometimes. Oh, it has the scenery on it. It's got like a kid and a, a camel. I'm very confused. Palm trees and a kid with like maybe a horse, maybe a camel. Ah, well, I guess I'll try this bit that fell apart. It's not my favorite. It's, it's okay. It's just, you know, standard white chocolate. I don't think Where's there's mine? anything special happening with it. I've had better white chocolate. Yeah. Okay, we've tried that. <laughs> Milk is their number one ingredient, so I gotta give them that. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> this is a Caramac. Now this is another one that um, I think we've gotten some comments. You guys have told us we should try this. I believe our friends Sean and Caroline sent us this one. Um, this one just says the caramel flavor bar on the back. I mean, it's called Caramac, which means it's for me. I was gonna say, it sounds like it's for you. Oh, it oh, looks like- Oh, it's like white chocolate with caramel flavored, flavored white chocolate. Like something similar we've had from Cadbury. There's like some little sugar crystal-y things happening in there. It's, it's like they good. cooked it till it was crystallized. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's definitely better than the Milky Bar. It's really interesting. I don't think I've ever had anything quite like this. It's, I really enjoy it though. It's good. It's not my favorite, but I like it. I like it. It almost reminds me of something, but I can't quite figure out what. I think it almost tastes like, sometimes like I, my family has a recipe where they make almond roca and you have to basically like just cook it and cook it and cook it until it kind of like it. caramelizes. And I feel like it kind of tastes like that when you like, when it's like kind of in one of the earlier stages oh, before okay. it's like gotten hard to the stage where it's like hardened. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I like that one a lot. What else do you want to try? Ruffles? Sure. We found these at a local, uh, a local British like little restaurant that has a tiny little grocery tiny section. Grocery thing in it. We're like, hey, we've never tried those. Let's give them a whirl. I like that they have very differing pieces. Like I have just this, this one's like a tiny, tiny baby, and this one's like a big log, <laughs> and then this one's like a normal size, like just a, like a regular sized ball. I like a milk dud. Kind of. You have kind of a weird flavor. What is that flavor? I don't like it. No, those are not my favorite. They're like a milk dud, but they made it weird. They're like a milk dud mixed with like a sugar daddy or something, but then covered with chocolate. I mean, milk dud's covered with chocolate, but. They have a funky flavor, right? Kinda. Like they taste weird. What is that flavor? Yeah, that's not. It almost tastes like it has like Marmite in it or something. No, it doesn't taste like that. But yeah, I'd pass on that probably next time. Oh, oh, no wonder I don't like it. I think it's, a, it says it has raisins. I think it's like ground up like- Oh, weird. It's like raisin juice or something. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm like something about it is a funky flavor I don't like. Raisins, that's oh. it. <laughs> See, I like raisins, but yeah. I, that doesn't do much for me. I don't know why you keep eating them. I don't know why you keep eating them. You clearly they're don't really like, like them. So they're so interesting. Yeah, it's it's the it's like a raisin flavor. Okay. I think I'd rather eat like a chocolate covered raisin than something that's like got like raisin flavoring in it. Fair. <laughs> well, it's probably why I don't remember seeing any comments of anyone telling us we should try them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not great. And if you like them, well, there is more for you. <laughs> this is um, another thing that we got from Sean and Caroline. Tough, I always, Tafifi? Is that I'm how you say it? I don't know, Tafifi? I feel like every time I look at this word, I'm like, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> um, my cousin has actually brought us some of these from Germany. I don't know if these are different or not. I don't know. These have a, these say Berlin on the back, so. So maybe not. Probably, probably the same. We can also, I think like um, around Christmas, we can see the, like 
these yeah, pop up in stores and stuff. I don't know if they're don't know the if same they're, yeah. at all or if they're like Cadbury where we get the short end of the stick on that one. I can't. They're like little buttons. It's been so long. I, we probably had these like five years ago. Something like that. And uh, it's been so long I kind of forgot what they were like, but they're like little, little like pods. They're like puds. They're a pud. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they are a hazelnut and caramel with creamy nougat and chocolate. Would you like your tuffy fee? I like that there's layers of things happening in them. They're pleasant. Mm-hmm. I like that it's like a real hazelnut instead mm -hmm. of like the paste, a the paste like or like a cream thing. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I like that the like the top or the bottom, depending on which end of the pud you're looking at. I like that it's got kind of like a like a chewy texture. I guess that's a nougat. Is that the nougat? Probably. No, it's no. caramel. Oh. The nougat's the creamy part inside. You're right. Nut. Yeah. You're right. That makes sense. And then the chocolate's the chocolate. Yeah. So the caramel is like chewy. It's like. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice. <laughs> Yarr, indeed. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Yeah, those are good. Couple, oh, a few things left to try. We'll, we'll try these first. I'm gonna go for the Milky Way, which I was surprised that it's such a blue packaging. Ours are definitely more brown. brown. <laughs> Ours are more brown. They're not as pretty. I can't get this open. Maybe you can. Thank you. Here, I'll just take a piece off. Oh, it looks very different inside. It looks more like a Three Musketeers or something. Yep, it sure does. It tastes more like a Three Musketeers too. Mm -hmm. It's like malty kind of. Yeah, you're right. You're right, it has like a malty flavor to it, yeah. Mm. I think that I like our Milky Way is better. I like the caramel. Mm -hmm. I, like a Three Musketeers is not a go-to candy bar for me, but I would definitely prefer this to that. Three yeah, like this is definitely more, has more happening in it than that. Now you guys have told us, there have been a couple things that you told us about for Milky Ways that you've suggested. And I've tried to order, I forget what it is, but you guys have been like, try this Milky Way thing. And I've tried to order it twice now from the shop in the UK that we get stuff from and they have not fulfilled it on either order. But we did, in this order, get some magic stars, which I assume they're probably just like the other Milky little Way. tiny versions of it. But they're cute little stars. Oh, they're so tiny. They're oh. littler than I thought they were gonna be. Oh, he has his sunglasses and a smiley face. Mine's just a smiley face. These are different. Huh. Are they just straight chocolate? I think so. They're fine. They're kind of like a, like a ripple or something. They're like, or like a arrow. Oh, these are like Milky Way's answered arrow. Oh, right? okay. Maybe. Like the little arrow bubbles. Mm-hmm. Arrow bubbles or Milky Way stars. I like them both. Bubbles. Oh. <laughs> these are cuter, I guess. Yeah, they have, they have sunglasses on, so I like them. You know, I like those. Yeah, they're fine. I would almost say I like those better than the regular bar. Huh. Last thing, but certainly not least, is um, this is one that was suggested by no one. <laughs> it's something that I saw at the store that we order stuff from. And I was like, huh, that seems unusual and we do not have that here. This is a Kit Kat chunky salted caramel popcorn. Sounds good. Now, or at least interesting. Yeah. Now we got, um, Sean and Caroline give us like little Kit Kat Santas and that's the first time we've had any kind of Kit Kat from the UK. Yeah. And they had- um, They were kind of different. They almost tasted more like a Nestle Crunch. And so I started wondering, are your Kit Kats different? But according to this, no, this looks like a Kit Kat bar and it's a giant one. Do you guys know the Kit Kat jingle? Do we have the same Kit Kat commercials? I have no idea. What's the Kit Kat jingle? Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that. Yeah, that one. Do you know that one? Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Oh, and you can break off a piece of it because this big chunky one has 
three little breaks. What is your favorite chocolate bar candy jingle? Leave us a comment and let us know. And maybe and we'll, leave a link to it if yeah, it's well, from the if UK. Yeah, if you know link, like, yeah, let us know because then maybe we'll, maybe we can watch them sometime. <laughs> weird. I kind of like it, but it's weird. It is straight up like eating popcorn inside of a Kit Kat bar. It's good though. Mm -hmm. But it has a very strong popcorn flavor as you're eating it. Like, like they did a lot more than just put popcorn. They're like, we're gonna blast it with popcorn Corn flavor. flavor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Super weird. Super good. <laughs> I almost think for me, the salted caramel with the popcorn flavor is like a little too much almost. Okay. That I almost kind of wish it was just Kit Kat with the popcorn flavor. I actually agree with that because I think it's really good, but like as I eat more of it, it's like that, that salted caramel flavor is like kind of overpowering. Mm -hmm. um, it's like what comes in on the, the back end. But I love that it, there's like still, there's like an actual popcorn crunch happening uh -huh. in it too. It's interesting, but it's, mm -hmm. it's good. I like it. That Kit Kat was really good. But yeah, it's like the first, at first you get that like crunchy burst of popcorn flavor. And then I feel like the more that I eat, the more that the salted caramel kind of takes over and it, it doesn't need it. Uh -uh. It doesn't need it. It's not it. bad, but it doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. That was a delight. Thank you to those of you that have suggested things for us to try. And thank you to our friends, Sean and Caroline, uh, for sending us new and fun things to try. We might be needing some things to try in the UK soon. So if you have any suggestions for things that we should try while we're there, like maybe things from like Marks and Spencer, is that right? Or is it Mark and Spencer? Marks and Spencer? Did don't I add know. an extra S? I don't know. <laughs> M&S, things from M&S or I don't know, like should, should, are there places we should go? Like. I mean, we've had Nando's here in the U.S., but like, are there chains we should check out? Let us know. Maybe we'll do that very soon. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.